All right, what's going on? It's Christopher from Mobile Chaos. Uh, what we have here is the Acer C720P. Uh, P means it's the touch model, the one that just got released uh, last week. They had a pre-order on Amazon a while ago, a couple weeks ago, and they started shipping Wednesday or Thursday of last week, which would have been the first week of December. I just got mine today. It's, uh, it's, it's December 10th. Um, and this video is going to be an unboxing slash uh, first impressions of a uh, Chromebook. I've never been a Chromebook user, never had one before. Always want to get one to play around with it. Um, and so once they came out with the first touch model that wasn't the uh, Chrome Pixel, uh, the, the big uh, $1,200 um, touch screen Chromebook or whatever, this one here uh, is listed for $299. Uh, got it from Amazon. I'm going to uh, buy it, check it out, play with it, then I'll probably send it back because I really don't have a use for it, but I just really wanted to check it out and play with it. And so I'm going to uh, do that and then I'm going to try to send it back to Amazon. Uh, one of the first things to note is uh, from looking on YouTube and the other uh, people that have the uh, Acer C720, um, the non-touch model, I think it's 199 for 2 gigs and 229 or 249, something like that for uh, for uh, 2 gigs, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, for 4 gigs of uh, memory. Um, a lot of those guys were getting their, their Acer 720s in and the boxes were actually saying the Acer uh, C7, um, which was the model before the uh, 720. All right, so it's it's good to see that they have updated the box uh, with the P and a little little sticker there that says uh, touch. All right, overall on the on the box here we had the specs. I don't know if you guys can see that in the shadow, uh, but basically it has a, a Haswell um, line processor in it. Uh, Intel, it's the uh, 2955U. It's 11.6 um, 10 finger touch display. Uh, 2 gigs of DDR3 memory, a 32 gig SSD drive. Um, here was inside the box. Nothing over there. Some information over here to, to register and stuff. Uh, yeah, and here we go. So we're going to open it up and uh, check it out. See what it's all about. Um, play with it, turn it on, and stuff like that. And we'll see what's what. So here, here we go. Here's what's it in the box, and you see we have a uh, setup guide for the Chromebook, which really shouldn't be nothing but turn it on, plug it in, turn it on, uh, hook it up to the internet. Here goes your international travelers, which hopefully I won't be an international traveler anymore. Here's the power adapter, pretty much basic power adapter or whatever. The other part of the power adapter. And here goes the actual Chromebook itself. Right, go ahead and move this out the way. And here we have the Chromebook itself. All right. Here's what it looks like: Acer Chrome. Um, feels pretty thin. Uh, you see my fingerprints on the back of it. It's because uh, I just got it and it's cold out here, and so that's why it's just the uh, computer itself is cold. So therefore, it's leaving low heat prints, not really fingerprints. Um, the top is plastic, but uh, smooth to the touch. The bottom is, uh, I don't know, everybody's seen this kind of plastic on the bottom of a computer before. You got some vents for heating, um, uh, for cooling, I should say. Another vent in the back. Uh, basically, this is this tray that everybody's saying is supposed to be for a SIM. Um, if you do get, if, when a venter do come with uh, LTE capabilities, over here on the left, we got the, uh, the power, HDMI, USB 3.0, and the... Uh, Mic and headphone jack there. There's nothing across the front. Some LEDs over here. Uh, one for charging. I'm assuming the other one is just uh, letting you know when it's processing or whatever. Uh, you have a full size SD card slot, a USB 2.0, and a Kensington lock. And uh, basically, from outside, it's exactly like what a uh, Acer 720 is. Uh, just this. This is touch. Open it up here. Move this out of the way. Uh, got your little touch logo up there. Letting you know that it is a uh, touch screen all right and here it is you got your little chiclet style keyboard sounds a little noisy but uh, I don't know what can you expect really uh, so some other people were noting on their 720s problems with the uh, the uh, 
touchpad or whatever with it being a little loose and flimsy this one here seems fine here it just says touch screen fast boot up seven and a half hours battery life ssd virus protection 100 gigs of google drive automatic updates building security and free apps all right so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn it on i'm gonna set it up and then i'll come back all right now that i got it powered up it did come completely dead for some reason i don't know why most computers and um Mobile devices, they typically come with a little bit of battery charge in them. This here was actually completely dead. All right, uh, one, one thing I noted is that on the uh, 720, uh, they typically have a pretty thick uh, black bezel around the screen. This here actually, this is, uh, screen is all glass. All right, so I thought this touch sticker up, up here was a big film over top of the whole screen. It's actually not. This is actually a... Uh, the glass right, right here, and this is asking me to go through the setup instructions. All right, I'll pick a network. All right, now I picked the network, and uh, it is getting on my uh, Wi-Fi network. All right, and uh, this is touch screen. I'm doing it all with, with the screen itself. Uh, sure, we'll try to make it better by sending our back our data. It's not like Google doesn't have all our data anyway. Um, it's checking for an update. I'm sure it'll go through an update and, and hopefully we'll get to the uh, main screen. Yep, there it goes. Uh, update available and it's prepared to download it and we'll see what happens after it gets finished update. Alright, so after about a four or five minute update and a restart, um, it's asking me to it asked me to log in with my uh, Google information, uh, which I did, choosing a display picture. Cool. We'll take a bike, no big deal. I don't know why I'm doing this with a trackpad, trackpad when I can do it with a uh, touchscreen, but okay. I uh, don't really need to explore the Chromebook family because I just got a Chromebook and I'm not really looking to use Chromebook full time anyway. Uh, I'm assuming this minimizes here, the square, and that closes. Oh, that, that expands, okay, got it. Don't really want to explore, so there we go. All right, so here it is. Uh, this is how it operates down here. We have the um, time. Uh, if you click the whole box, it lights up or whatever, and it tells you to uh, gives you your basic information. Uh, connected, Bluetooth disabled, volume settings, and stuff like that or whatever. Down here, it just shows the Wi-Fi, the battery. Um, comes with uh, YouTube, Google Docs, Google Search, Gmail, and Chrome. That look, that look like it lit up pretty pretty easy. Uh, I don't like this version of, of of Chrome where they give you this here. Um, where they make you go to web pages first, that, that really kind of kind of sucks, but okay, whatever. I was installing all my uh, extensions as well, ad block and those type things, or whatever that I have all on there. That's fine. Eh, keeps on popping up to all all new ones, whatever. Just adding all my all my extensions, my ad block and Feedly and and uh, Google Voice and some other stuff like that. But there you go. Uh, bring up Yahoo. It doesn't look too bad. All right, load it kind of quick. Over to Yahoo Sports. It doesn't look too bad in performance. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's my network. I don't think it's my network, but there's a slight delay. I'd say probably a second. Click the link, and then the web page pops up or whatever. It's not really that bad. Uh, my own internet connection on my MacBook Pro Retina over here does the same exact thing all the time. And so there you go. There's the first couple web pages. Um, yeah, so that's so that actually yeah, should go. Overall, the uh, screen looks okay. Um, it's, not, it's not the best screen in the world because when it was tilted down like this, I can see the starting to see the changing of other colors and stuff. But when when it stood up here, I mean, it's not bad colors. It, it looks okay. You know, it's, it's very very watchable. All right, let's we'll see. YouTube it popped up pretty quick or whatever, and uh, we'll just look at the first video that's on here. Uh, Jeep Cherokee and Drive or whatever from. Uh, Fast car lane. Nathan, there's a big elephant in the room. That doesn't look bad at all. No, it's right, right here, right here. The brand new Jeep Cherokee. Uh, oh, it went to yeah. Only 360p. Uh, let's try it up. Unusual to look at. Yes, it is. But you know what? Before we do anything, let's not even go there. Let's give it a fair shot. Let's drive it and see how it does on a first drive review. All right. Sounds good to me. Check so it out next. We got the HD logo line. down here in, in the corner, and uh, video's still going or whatever. It doesn't seem to be stuttering or anything. So there you go, you can watch YouTube just fine. 
So you got a full full screen or whatever. See how fast it loads up another video here. Right, so there you go. You can see how fast you can change uh, videos. I'm sure most of your other computers are not much faster than than that. They all, um, all the the computers pretty much act, act the same unless you got a really uh, Core i7 type of to processor or whatever. First look at the capable but cool SUV. There you go, so you can the front end is distinctive. close stuff out with your finger. While it maintains Jeep's trademark 7-slide grille, albeit at an angle, perhaps the most distinctive feature of the nose is the LED slit on either side. All right, so there you go. There's the uh, Acer 720p touchscreen. It's the first, or the, the second touchscreen Chromebook. Uh, the first was a Chrome Pixel, the $1,200 or $1,400 uh, Chromebook. This right here is uh, $299. I'll put the link in um, down. I'll put the link down below, and uh, you can check it out or whatever. Um, it seems pretty good for 300 bucks. It's kind of hard to beat. Um, I don't know what's better, getting this a Chromebook or getting a $300. Um, like Windows computer or whatever, uh, I guess it's just going to kind of depend on what you want to do because on the Windows computer you're going to tend to do more processor intense. And seeing it going and running on the highway with that, you're going to be do, doing more uh, processor intense type tasks or whatever, and uh, you're going to be doing it on um, a very slow processor. You're going to be doing it on the, the Atom processor, uh, whatever the processors are, are called now in, in the lower end Windows computers. So you'll be Kind of like, oh man, this thing is slow, this thing is slow. Whereas the Chromebook, you really don't expect that much. So whatever you get is whatever you get. And you're like, oh, okay, it works pretty good. Uh, but I will check it out. I'll try to do a little bit more when I write the review. Uh, but this was the unboxing and first impressions of the Acer 720p Chromebook. And thanks for watching. This is Christopher from Mobile Chaos.